The Windows Media Center is a program that you can use for entertainment purposes. Like when you connect your computer up to your cable box, you can watch and record live television shows, burn them to CD or DVD, listen to local radio stations, play music, and display picture slideshows. Now this assumes that your computer that you purchased is set up to be able to hook a cable up to it so you can watch and record television or have another hookup for it so you can actually connect an antenna to it to listen to local radio stations. If you didn't buy a computer that had that, then you need to go out and get a TV tuner card. It will be installed in your computer and have these little ports that you can hook up your cable from your satellite box and also an antenna so you can listen to local radio stations. If you do have it installed on your computer, a TV tuner card, then be sure to hook up the cables accordingly by reading the instructions as it were. Then once you have it set up, all you need to do is go ahead and bring up the Windows Media Center program and follow its prompts to be able to connect it so you can actually start recording and watching live TV or setting up your local radio stations so you can listen to those as well. Now one thing you ought to know before we go through the setup process here is that if you don't have any cable or television hookups that you want to connect to your computer but you do have a port on the back of your TV tuner card that you can hook up and listen to local radio stations then you have to go through the whole setup in order to be able to listen to local radio stations. Yes, even your TV tuner card, so you'll still want to follow me through the setup here, and then you'll be able to go ahead and set up your local radio stations, okay? So to get started, come down here and click on the Start button, and you can come up here and click on All Programs, and there it is, Windows Media Center. Click on it to get started. Then to get started, just go ahead and click Continue. Now, you've got a couple of choices. You can learn more about it, go the Express route, or do something custom. If you go Express, then Microsoft is going to assume a couple of things, like you want to join the Customer Experience Improvement Program. In other words, you're going to send information. What information that's going to be coming off? Well, the shows you watch, I guess. Well, in any case, you can read more about it. I'm not going to sign up for that, so I'm going to go Custom and go around that, click on it, and then it'll walk you through a wizard. It'll ask you questions, you give it the answers, and by the end you should have something that will be set up appropriately depending upon your configuration. What antennas you've got hooked up to your computer through your TV tuner card. So I'm going to go ahead and click Next. Boy, and uh, Microsoft won't leave you alone here because they really want to improve their service, or at least that's what they're saying here, and I'm going to say no thank you because I'm a private guy. And then click Next. And then do you want to be able to download a guide here? It comes with the cover art for any albums or music that you play, uh, TV program guide listings, and so on. I'll go ahead and say yes. Of course, be sure to read their privacy statement online because, you know, make sure you know what you're getting into here. I'm just basically walking you through, and hopefully you'll take the time to read those statements there and click Next. So I've answered all the questions. Click Next. Now if you want to customize the Windows Media Center, go ahead and select from the list of what you want to configure it for. For TV tuner cards that you have installed on your computer, the TV signal and guide. Again, this will also, as I mentioned earlier, you want to go through this if you have an FM antenna because you want to listen to your local radio stations. Even if you don't have a TV signal here, just you know, still go ahead and select it and go through it. Then go ahead and click Next. Um, depending upon my region, the Windows Media Center wants to configure my computer for it, so yes, let's go ahead and use the region to configure my TV services, which when I click Next, it'll ask me for my zip code in the U.S. Go ahead and type it in here. Mine's 841177. Then click Next. And then they have their Terms of Service. Go ahead and read through it by clicking on the drop-down arrow. So, so, so. When you agree with it, click Agree, click Next. Now this may take some time. It's downloading the TV setup data. Now it's going to go ahead and examine my TV signals, which I don't have any because I haven't connected my satellite box up to my TV tuner card into my computer here, so it's not going to find anything. And then once it's done, it gives us the results here. And then it says Windows Media Center is unable to determine my TV signal configuration, so how do you want to configure it? Do you want the Media Center to try again? Then check your cables, make sure they're connected appropriately, or I can do it manually, select it and click Next. So what type of signal do I have? Do I have cable, satellite, or antenna? They actually do sell antennas so you can go ahead and plug into the back of your uh, TV tuner card. If that's it, go ahead and select it and click Next. And is it digital, analog? Um, again, what antenna do you have? And click Next. Windows Media Center has finished setting it up. Do you want to set something else up? No. Click Next. 
and then it's telling me here it says look there's additional tuners that exist but will not be configured if I made a mistake or I want to show the details of it it says that I have a TV tuner card here it's digital so I don't want to set it up as analog in any case you can always click back back and keep going back and say it's digital and then keep going through it and say do you want to set up another one no go ahead and click next to confirm it and then it wants to download the program guide as one of our options that we chose and this may take some time and then when it's done it's finished go ahead and click finish and you can keep going through the remainder of the wizard here just basically again follow it it'll ask you certain questions give it answers and it'll help you set it up and as you just saw when it comes to configuring at least the first one the the TV signal and the guide I'm gonna go ahead and say that I have finished click next click finish again and I'm done so one thing about it after you have it set up is you got a list of options here the only way to scroll through either up or down is to move your pointer all the way to the top or close to the top until this little arrow fades in in which case you can click on it to scroll up to scroll down you have to go all the way down to the bottom till you see the arrow you can't be in the middle here you gotta to go to the top to scroll up all the way down to the bottom to go down to the bottom if you made some mistakes in your setup keep going all the way down to the bottom until you get to task click on it and then you can go back to general click on that it'll give you options do you want to go ahead and go back through the Windows Media Center setup click OK run setup again if you do it'll say okay all the current settings that you have will be lost well I'm not going to run it back up again in which case I can either hit the back arrow and find my way back or click on the Windows Media Center logo and it should take me back to my main menu here again if I want to go down to the bottom beyond the uh, default selection of music go all the way to the bottom of the screen until you see the arrow and click on it until you get to TV you have some recorded TV your TV guide and go all the way over to the right to see the arrow I mean you gotta exaggerate you can't just go "Ooh, I want to scroll over you have to go all the way to the right click on it you want to watch live TV click on it give it a second or two why it it pulls it up for me but I'm not gonna see anything because I have no TV signal sure I've got a TV tuner card but I've got no cable plugged into the back of it but if I did I can come down here and you got your up or down buttons go channel by channel by channel let's see KCBU DT TV 3.1 crime strike you have over here your volume settings you have your record button go ahead and click record it will start recording your signals and then as you record you can go ahead and click stop or in the middle of the recording when in doubt you can right click when you right click you'll get a menu of options the least of which is to stop recording and then when you're done recording you can come up here click on the main menu button to go back to our TV settings here where we can click here and it will show all our recorded TV including the default that came with our Windows Media Center the computer here and it'll have other little windows here for TV shows that we recorded you can go ahead and click on to go ahead and play it and then you'll have other options here where you can go ahead and take yours and burn yours to a CD or a DVD I'm gonna go ahead and click on the uh, Windows Media Center logo let me come up here and click on music and then over to the right you can see the radio click on that FM radio again you have to set up your TV tuner in order to get your FM radio but keep in mind you've got to have your antenna hooked up to your TV tuner card in that there should be a port on your TV tuner card that you can connect your FM antenna to well that is if you bought a TV tuner card that included FM let's come up here and click on FM radio so we can start going through and setting up our presets you know like in our car so the first preset I can just go ahead and tune it manually by going up one at a time or go ahead and click on the seek so it goes up until it finds a radio station that has a strong signal when it finds it it's gonna pause but keep in mind that some of these radio signals may be strong but it's just not capturing them so when it gets close to one that I'm familiar with locally here I'll go ahead and kinda of stop it by clicking on a, a button here for tuning and then going up to 92.7 and then click save what do I want to call it I don't know 92.7 and then maybe some call letters KKAT or whatever it is and then click Save seek the next radio station and then of course when I'm done click Save 93.9 click Save 
So I've got quite a few presets here. So when I'm listening to the radio, I can just go ahead and go down to the next preset, go up to the next one, and then I can just go ahead and listen to them. They're playing right now. I just don't have it set up so you can listen to it, but you'll be able to hear it on your speakers there, hooked up to your computer. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for all my training, please visit me at my website, dreamforce.us.